Team Harmony. Times are different to say the least, yet life along with its ups and downs must go on. And it is this roller coaster that has brought us about today for this meeting. It is my honor and pleasure to welcome you all for this online launch for a project that has been very dear in the making. We visualized a platform that would bring together voices of the young and the wisdom of the experience that would bring about the change that we wish to see in society. Thus I, on behalf of the Harmony Foundation, wish to thank all those who have contributed their time and knowledge to bring forth this magazine. I want to take this moment to acknowledge the articles uh, written by Avinash Godfode and Sayali Dongre and Sagrika Katpalya and Nilanshu Kumar, students in the development sector that have won the Be the Voice of Harmony contest. And without further delay, let me call upon the founder and chairman of the Harmony Foundation, Dr. Abraham Matai, to speak a few words. Excuse me, Otto, can you please unmute? Uh, you need to uh, unmute on the Zoom, please. On the Zoom screen. Okay. On the left side, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Now, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay. So I said, I'm very happy to welcome all of y'all who've shown interest in the launch of this magazine, e-magazine, Your Voice of Harmony. We've been working on, on this for quite some time. Voice of Harmony is going to be a platform that will coordinate and facilitate the efforts of selfless individuals and organizations to voice their challenges, concerns, and above all, their accomplishments. A perfect forum where NGOs across the length and breadth of the country can be the voice for the voiceless. The year 2020 unexpectedly brought about a sudden and abrupt change of such unprecedented magnitude, totally and unanticipated like never before. For the last eight months, COVID-19 has unpleasantly altered and upstaged everyone's life, as well as the vision of this magazine. Matters of grave concern that our society was previously unaware or of deliberately become indifferent to our being forcefully brought forth to the forefront of our immediate attention, notably the issues of the migrant labors, improper and dysfunctional healthcare services, mental health, and these are just to mention a few. As you flip through the pages, you will come across expressions of injustice, economic hardships, and setbacks during these times of uncertainty. They are written by scholars and researchers in the development sectors, experts and pundits, along with those who have their boots on the ground in their respective fields, and I sincerely thank all of them for their precious time. I also take this opportunity to sincerely thank members of the student community who have sent in their articles for publication in the magazine. Their opinions are not only fresh, but balanced, objective, and unbiased. It is during this lockdown that people from diverse backgrounds and fields came forward to meet the needs of those incapacitated by such overwhelming circumstances beyond their control. Hence, we at the Harmony Foundation were honored, were actually honored to acknowledge as well as felicitate a few of them with certificates of appreciation. I thank everyone for the selfless efforts they've put into this publication and brought it forth together. And a special thanks to Team Harmony for all their efforts. I also want to thank our, uh, my friend and DG of police, Mr. Sanjay Pandey, who has come, spent, who has taken time off to be here. He's a DG of Home Guards, and we never know and we, and we hope that he'll be the next DGP of Maharashtra. Thank you, Sanjayji, for coming. Thank you, Thanks, each one of you. So I would like to introduce uh, Mr. Marzip Parekh. Social workers have played an essential frontline role in the fight against the spread of the virus. Today, we, with us, we have a social worker who has a strong desire to give back to the society, identifying needy individuals and helping them out. 
for one so young he understands the importance of giving itself being the road to salvation and to true happiness i'm pleased to welcome mr marzi parekh from lift to give india which has transformed so many lives so please could you speak a few words sure hi everybody and firstly i'd like to thank mr mathai for uh, you know finding me worthy to be you know speaking on a platform with such great individuals and um, i'm just going to take a couple of minutes to to tell you how important i think uh, a platform like this is so uh, when i first heard about uh, an avenue like this where you know ngos would come together and you would be informed about what each other is doing i thought uh, it was a wonderful cause and i do realize that there is a need for something like this because uh, something like this doesn't exist so first i'd like to commend the people behind this initiative for uh, having the foresight to think about the need for something like this what it also does for social workers like us is it brings a lot of unknown people together uh, it helps us increase the scope of our work the reach of our work uh, and it also helps us collaborate very effectively with people who do similar things uh, like minded people so i think firstly hats off to whoever thought of this initiative and uh, you know put took the effort to put these things together i think it's going to help the community the country everyone working for a noble cause a long long way uh, because it's going to help us uh, do a lot of better work more efficiently smartly and collaboratively uh, furthermore uh, you know a couple of lines about what we do at live to give uh, live to give is a one off citizens platform uh, why i'd like to talk about it also is because in a way it is taking on from what you guys are planning to do it is uh, a platform of about you know 700 people coming together like minded people uh, lots of ngos lots of founders lots of people from various backgrounds including civil service including uh, you know teachers domestic help i mean there's there's no end to how uh, you know like minded people can come together and, and transform society and uh, change things so uh, at live to give we've realized and we've seen the power and the potential of uh, you know people collaborating uh, good work being done collectively and uh, over the last couple of months uh, you know we've we've done right from providing hospital beds to helping senior citizens to i think the rations and the food packets and all of that is something that a lot of people have done already but uh, you know having platforms like this uh, help us to reach out to a segment of society that is not able to formally reach out to ngos formally reach out to uh, you know institutions for help so i just want to say thank you great job thank you for identifying us thank you for highlighting our work thank you for giving a lot of other people like me the platform and the encouragement to keep doing what we're doing uh and thank you for being the person who's taking all the trouble and the effort to put all of us together so that we can all do great work so kudos to all of you and uh, more power and god speed to the great work that all of you do thank you thank you marzi thank you sir i must say i'm i'm really uh, what do you say you you're fascinated by the work you do marzi i have been interacting with a lot of people during this your covid times people who are doing a lot of good job, good work for the people in society but i have never seen a group like yours that is so multifaceted like anything you all have an answer and a solution to any problem i want to just i just want to highlight one thing because sanjay pandey sahab is here pandey sahab you know and, and all the others the other about two weeks back or three weeks back i got a message from goregaon station there is a auto rickshaw driver who's forced to live with his pregnant wife in his rickshaw because the landlord just threw them out because they didn't have rent i just put it on that message on the on the group and in a couple of hours somebody reaches there pays that 20000 that he needs for rent and deposit and he go, and his wife was due in a week's time so and then another thing i can tell you i, I read about there were 10 blind students who didn't have people to come and write for their exams that when they when somebody put it in the group immediately 12 of 12 or 14 of them just volunteered and that was taken care of so the kind of things that this group has done is unimaginable and really hats off to you mazi for taking the lead god bless you thank for you, this sir. and continue to do thank what you, you're sir. doing indeed thank you sir Good. thank you sir thank you sir thank you mr far again thank you dr mathai uh, he did obviously say a lot about uh why we are grateful for your work and also the fact that 
at some point i believe that we find a loss of people to really help but it just tells us that there are people in mumbai and obviously in the country that obviously will come forward when when they know there's someone in need and i think that is what uh, india is always looking forward for just people that have the heart to come and reach out so thank you so much for everything that you do i would next like to call upon director general home guard sanjay pandey to speak a few words uh dg sanjay pandey has been instrumental in aid, aiding migrant workers in this city to find shelter and then safe passage to get home during the lockdown a uh, heart truly for the people please welcome mr sanjay pandey and over to you sir yeah before you start sanjay pandey ji i want to say one more thing i have been a great fan of mr pandey sir he used to be dcp in 1993 and the very name of sanjay pandey sent shivers down the spine of all the criminals and you know i used to be a great and i'm still a fan of his and he's got and we hope that now that uh, he's from home guards maybe he will be coming as a dgp of police in maharashtra hopefully because he's now the senior most person and and not only that he is an officer a police officer with a heart to serve if if people don't know i mean in the first migrant camp that we started in the city of mumbai was thanks to sanjay pandey sir who gave his grounds the home guard grounds for us to put up the tent there for the migrant so thank you so much pandey sir for coming and sparing your time go ahead well uh, first of all uh, let me congratulate uh, dr mathai for the great initiative i was going through uh, the this uh, inauguration uh, invite for a digital uh, uh, magazine that you are coming out with i wish it all success this is a great effort and when i hear that a lot of students have contributed i think uh, that's even better because i think that's the future that we are looking at and their ideas certainly uh, are more forward looking i must say as compared to many of us who have probably lived uh, lived it through and uh, are experiencing it uh, as as we go along uh, yeah and uh, i must say that covid taught us many lessons and one of the lesson was that uh, we on our own when i say we means the the government on its own could not have done or could not have achieved what they did in a short span of time in bombay we are still affected but daily we are hearing news that we probably are turning the corner and we probably will be better off and in this effort the citizens and particularly let me uh, let me relate the story which uh, dr mathai just said uh, when uh, it all started somewhere in march when the lock up lockdown started yeah. uh, we uh, we in civil defense i also had civil defense were actually looking around as to who all can come forward and help us we had grounds we had a number of people we had equipment uh, but we still didn't have the the wherewithal uh, in the sense that the infrastructure the tents uh, and then uh, logistics we approached uh, people like dr mathai and he he came not only on himself he brought in a team of people and i think our tents were rated our camps were rated the best and all credit goes to harmony all credit goes to the efforts of people who came along with dr mathai there was a huge contribution by uh, for moving uh, these people by ryan international huge uh, contribution I imagine people put up tents which are probably the best of the quality i mean i i'm not comparing with mmrda but i think we had the best tents uh, mudai saab in the entire town and thanks to mr pawar who got it done and for all you all of you who are student uh, and and particularly mr parik yes this this feeling of giving in in bombay is huge and i have been experiencing it i have seen it in 1920 when i have seen now again when set up these tents cost us lakhs of rupees almost free and and our almost free uh, who had birthdays uh, and their sons birthdays came there uh, and were out celebrating their birthday it is very touching and very, i mean i 
don't want to take names here, but there are many of you like uh, Mr. Murphy who have done this. I meant what you think now, what I'm hearing. In any ways, if you can, it will be. I just by saying that it puts like harmony or comment manner we can certainly support such. I for out and calling us all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Pandey sir. I wish, uh, I wish all police officers were as <laughs> were like you. I mean, yeah, we need police officers like you, who who are uh, who have a passion to help people. Thanks. Go ahead, uh, Harsh. I think. Thank you, DG sir. We are grateful for your words of appreciation and your words of kindness, and we, in fact, are grateful to you and all law enforcers like you for keeping us safe and secure. Um, the link for the magazine is put up in the chat box. All are requested to please follow the link, read the magazine, and save it in your favorites. But before we go there, we would like to thank everybody. Honestly, thank you is too small a word to express gratitude, but that's the best we can offer right now. Therefore, first and foremost, we thank our guests, Honorable DG Sanjay Pandey sir, and Mr. Marzi Parikh for agreeing to be with us today. Harmony Foundation is privileged and grateful to have you with us. Thank you to our supporters and our benefactors for their constant support and motivation without whom we wouldn't be and we wouldn't be doing what we do currently. And last but not thank you to all our audience, all our NYDs, all our attendees for having been a gracious audience. It makes us extremely happy to understand that you accepted our invitation. So such a short follow notice, the, yes. to the magazine. Such a short notice, yes. So please follow the magazine and follow the link to the magazine. Read and know about all the people doing all the great work all across our country and in the world. And until next time, take care, stay safe and stay happy. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.